Which statement explains the configuration error message that is received? And we should be able to see it now on the screen. And we have right. these answers. Yeah. It's a broadcast okay. IP address. The router doesn't support slash 28 mask. It belongs to a private IP address range. It's a network IP address. All right, so this is actually a very good question because of two reasons. First thing is it's a, it's a subnetting question because uh, as you can see on the screen uh, in the snippet, when we are going into the interface and we are trying to type the IP address, it is saying that the bad mask slash 28 uh, for the address, right? So uh, there is an issue with the subnet mask there, that, or uh, the IP address itself. So it's a subnetting question, but you know, this is one of the good examples when you go for the exam. Uh, I would always suggest you to check all the options first before you start solving the question. Because look at the answers. There are three answers which are ridiculous. They are definitely wrong. So you don't even need to solve the subnetting for this one to know the answer. For example, look at the answer B. The router does not support slash 28 mask. Now, after every router supports slash 28, every router supports all masks, right? Any subnetting mask is supported. So that doesn't uh, make any sense. There are no certain routers who do not support subnetting. Uh, option C, it belongs to a private IP address range. Private IP address range uh, uh, is completely supported on all routers. It doesn't need all the time public IP addresses. You can use private IP addresses, public IP addresses. So again, that is also not a correct answer. And the option D is it is a network IP address. <laughs> of course, it's a network IP address. We are talking about networking. So it is going to be a network IP address. But uh, the option number A and B could be also uh, considered network IP address means the network ID. Right. So if, uh, if they are saying that it is a network ID or broadcast ID, then you might have to check the subnetting. But network IP address, yes, of course, it's a network IP address. So that is not an issue. So the issue remains is the option A, it is a broadcast IP address. So you can actually get to the right answer, answer uh, option A, uh, by just uh, eliminating the wrong answers. But in case, let's say if we have to go uh, for subnetting, so let me share my screen. I will quickly solve this subnetting question and see if that's the actual case, right? So just give me one second. Uh, let me explain you why that uh, question is the answer A, right? So as we can see that the IP address they are they were using was uh, is a 192.168. Uh, and what else did we have there? Uh, 16.143, right? So dot 16. Dot 143 and the subnet mask is uh, 240 so all 255 and the last octet is 240 so we know that 240 if we go through our subnetting uh, uh, lessons from our ccna classes we know that it is going to have the block size of 256 minus 240 or 16 ip address uh, uh, per subnet right 16 ip addresses uh, per subnet so with this block size we can find out the uh, the boundaries so we know that it starts with 0, 0 to 15 is the first subnet and 16 to 31 is the second subnet and you can keep on going until you reach to this IP address, right? But there is a shortcut also, as you can see that for every subnet, the first IP address is the network ID, this one, and the last IP address is the broadcast ID, right? And you can see that every subnet starts with the uh, multiples of 16. So like third one is 32 to 47, fourth one is 48 to 63. So if you see, it's like the table of 60, 16, 32, 48. So you can actually jump also. You know that it is a 16, 7, 112. So this is also going to be a start of a subnet. Anything multiples of 16 will be a start of a subnet. Similarly, next one will be 144. So that means this one will end at 143. Sorry, not 144. <coughs> 127. And this one will be 128 because it is also a multiple of 16 and then it will go to all the way to 143 and then next one will start from 144 and onwards. So clearly we go see the answer here. The first IP of every range is the network ID. The last IP is the broadcast ID. So this 143 is a broadcast IP address. That's why it is not taking uh, the answer, right? So I'll stop sharing the screen now. So that's why the answer is uh, answer A.